Today we're taking a look at an aftershave gel by Gillette. This aftershave gel comes in a 2.5 ounce plastic squeeze type container with a standard pop lid. The lid for this is correctly orientated upside down so it is on the bottom for easy dispensal of the gel. Now the scent of this is fairly strong directly from the container itself. To me, it just smells like a strong soap. It's a clean and fresh scent. No, although directly from the container, it is a fairly strong scent. When you use the proper amount, it is a fairly light scent, as well as that scent it tends to dissipate fairly quickly. Now, like I do for most products, the ingredients are, of course, on the screen for you right now. And really, they are fairly normal. The only one that you really need to pay attention to is the alcohol distilled. Now, the only reason why you need to know about that particular ingredient is because you will now know that it definitely has a bit of a burn when you are using this product. Now, although it has a little bit of a burning sensation, I have found that it is a quicker and not a very strong burning sensation when compared to some other products that I've used in the past. Now, as far as the application of this, there really isn't any directions on this bottle on how to use it. However, there is a little peel back thing on the back here that there is a warning that if you get it in your eyes to make sure you rinse out your eyes really well. So I'm gonna tell you guys that it's really easy to use this. You just apply a little bit to your fingers or the palm of your hand, evenly distribute it to both hands and apply it to the areas that you have shaved your face and if you're like me, even your head. Now, as you notice, I did say to use a little bit, and that's because a little bit of this goes a long way. I was very easily able to cover all of the areas that I shave, including the underneath the neck, the chop area, as well as the cheeks and my head with just a little bit of this. So if you don't have facial hair like I do, chances are the same amount is going to do you just fine. Now the container does say that this is for sensitive skin. I would have to say that it's more for those that on occasion may have some irritation. If you get irritation a lot, this isn't gonna be uh, the one for you because it does have that alcohol in it which can irritate extremely sensitive skin. So if you just have a little bit of irritation from time to time when you get done shaving, I would say this will probably do you just fine. Through using this product, I found that it definitely leaves my skin feeling nice and soft as well kind of gives it a fresh feel to it after I get done shaving. It does a good job of closing up all of those pores as well as closing up any micro nicks that you may have from shaving. Now one thing that I wanna mention about this that I just kind of really like about it and that is the presentation of it. For some reason, I just really like the bottle of this. It's not too big, it's not too small. It fits in the hand nicely, it's comfortable and it's got these little aesthetic little protrusions on the side that just give it a really nice look. Now I know that for most people that doesn't really matter. However, I do think that it's a nice touch to this product. Now if you're shaving and using aftershave every day, I think that one of these bottles should probably at least last you an easy month and a half to two months because you're not using much of it. And coming in under $5 for this uh, product at the time of this review, I think that it's a fairly good deal. If you think that you might like this product, go ahead and pick it up at your local store, or even better, go ahead and check out the link down below where you can get this delivered directly to you. If you wanna learn more about aftershaves and why you should use them, go ahead and check out this video up here. Down below, that's gonna be a video that you may enjoy as well. Until next time, as always, you have a good one.